Yes. All right. This is an interesting one. All right. Especially like for people that have gone to college. Um, we got two in this house. Yeah. I barely went to college. I don't count, I don't think, especially <laughs> for when we're talking about med school. I don't, uh, <laughs> don't count. Um, all right. I'll just tell you the, um, the thing for now. All right. Give right, it to me. Look, don't look. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. At... Pay attention to your kid. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Would I be the no. asshole for writing an intentionally bad letter of recommendation for someone who wants to get into med school? I'm going to say no. Right off the bat, I'm going to say no. Yeah. All right. Well, there is... Um, there is content on here. Ooh, oof, oof, and I... I Oh, nice. I, I just um, kept running forward. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes, is that, is that all you have to do, though? I think you just gotta not get oh, knocked off. Oh, you are getting really close. So, I did kind of look down, which was kind of bad. Um, is it ever gonna give you a different, like, starting point, or... Like, the, the very first one? Yeah. Because I don't we've know. We've seen the same ones over and over, but that thing showed different ones. So I'm not I mean, this one's going to be different. Yeah. I don't think we've seen this one yet. Mm -mm. All right. So, a little background. I work as a physician in the emergency department. In the emergency department, there are what we call emergency technicians. They basically perform the same jobs as a CNA as well as collect blood work. Each EKGs, if I could speak correctly, perform splints, etc. Like the extra helping work. Um, a little bit more than I would say a, a CNA would. Um, potentially. Um, but I don't work as a CNA, so I don't know. Oh. oh, what? I got smacked by a ball. Oh, yeah, they're throwing balls, balls the face. at you. Yeah, balls oh, to the face. You, got, you got balls to the walls. And to your face. Which is probably worse. Oh, I think I was on... No, I think you were on this one. Oh, grab the crown! Grab the crown! Wait, wait, wait. Back up, back up, back up. Jump! No. No. Oh, my God. Oh, good save. I think you gotta run and then jump. Oh, yeah, like run and then jump for it, you know? Uh, what? Oh... He got it, or she got it, or whom got it? Somebody got it. Somebody got it. The winner was Daddy Downer sixty nine. Wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's an interesting name. Um. Let me check something out. I uh did not like uh, that. That was an interesting one. All right, so let's get into this. Um, a lot of texts coming through usually use it as a stepping stone. They either work here during slash before nursing school or as a gap year before going to medical, PA, or graduate school. Recently, a tech that has worked here for a couple months asked me to write him a letter of recommendation for med school. Over the years, I've written multiple letters of recommendation for the techs that pass through. I'm always in favor of paying it forward to the next generation of professionals. The problem is that he is hands down a worst possible person to become a physician. He's lazy, bigoted, self-righteous, and has almost a callous disregard for human life. Mm. He won't do any work unless you tell him to his face and remind him several times. I've overheard him say various racist, sexist, transphobic comments. Ooh. He'll ignore call lights, won't round on patients, or just go off and hide. I've asked the nurses and other techs about him in case I got the wrong impression, and they are just done with him and his shit at this point. Whenever I talk to him about being a physician, all he talks about is the money. And yes, that's definitely a factor, but it's not the end-all be-all. And, I mean... Like... To be perfectly honest, um, you're gonna have so many medical, like medical school bills, unless you get a grant or a scholarship, that you're gonna be in debt to. Like, don't think that just because 
like it's a doctor they don't have like because they do they do i work with them um they definitely do they do make a lot of money but college across the board is expensive um, I've never met a human being who would make a worse position than him. So would I be the asshole if I wrote a letter of recommendation that heavily advocated against his admission? Or should I just refuse to write one? Uh, when you were talking about somebody who's going into the medical field, mm -hmm. the last thing that I want is to have a physician or somebody who is going to be caring for me or someone of my one of my loved ones that yeah. I know for a fact is biased in any way, shape, or form and has their own predispositions. Yes. Yes. Because that care is not going to be quality at that point at all. No, I and, don't think so. Exactly. Yeah, and I mean, I think he could go either of the two ways. I think he definitely... Um, I think I would advocate for n to not, but I think if you really wanted to go middle of the road, don't want to so much get involved with all of that crapola that this guy has going on, mm -hmm. you could just refuse it. But I think that I would personally, if I were in his shoes as a physician, and as a physician who, it sounds like very much cares for his patients, Mm -hmm. And, it, it, like, the individuals and stuff? No. I... No. Yeah. I, I think we can confidently say that, no, you are not the asshole. No, and I think that was very, like, responsible of him. Because, like, when you work... I don't know if other people know this. Um, but, like, when you work as anything that works in a hospital a physician a um a nurse a cna a uh, even a medical coder which is what i am um you kind of have to follow a code of ethics it's called um and like that can be anything from billing professionally like making sure that you're not obviously doing fraud and abuse to these kind of little things where you're not allowing certain people to take advantage of the system and be um, not... <laughs> it is just kicking your ass right to the next round. That's fine. It can boost me forward. Um, you know, and, and they... You have to follow this code of ethics. Um, and it kind of... It's, it's all of the above for that. Um... And he was following that code of ethics by not, I think. Yeah, I, I 100% agree. And I, I've seen, like, with your work, the kind of stuff that you get involved with, and I'm just like, yeah, this guy does not seem yeah. like he deserves to be working in this kind of environment. Yeah, and that's a, that's a really good um, um, point, too. Um, Lone Star Lady. I mean, it. Yeah. You have to really be careful because you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. And I mean, there is like a. Um, I don't know if him being. A, if it was just a tech. If. Um, if there is this for like techs and stuff. But I know. For, oh, he tried to grab you. No, that wasn't. That me. wasn't you. I already qualified. That wasn't you. Ah, oh, great. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> you try to grab someone, mm -hmm. um, but you have to be careful because, um, like, I know physicians, there's like a physician record or something where you can actually look up and make sure, like, they have their credentials, and you have to be really careful that they actually are who they say they are and have what they say they have because that's a thing, too. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. We have determined not asshole. I don't no. think we've had a single certified I asshole know, yet. I know, I know, I'm looking, but I, I, cause I think they're so controversial and I kind of like it. Um, <laughs> um, do, 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 do. 
do 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 do. Now this is gonna throw you off because I'll tell you what I my mind immediately went to. Am I the asshole for taking up two seats on a bus? You know what my mind immediately went to? What? They're a plus size person. Oh, okay. Um, I can tell you right now that was not. Oh, I see. I just barely got in that one. Oof. I did make it though. Cool. Where did you go? Run! Oh. That was not you. Nope. That is not uh, the case, but. I use my gaming PC for my streams. Yeah, it definitely comes in handy. It's a lot easier to stream with the PC, I will say that. Because we, I tried streaming off the PlayStation 5, and oh, that's. Oh, this is a new one. No, it's not. No, it's not. It, just showed... it looked like it was new. Yeah. Why isn't it giving you new ones? I don't know. I did have... I lost on the... The one that was new recently. Huh. Yeah. Alright. Right? Two seats. One bus. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. That sounded a lot worse than what I wanted it to sound like. <laughs> and I apologize for that. <laughs> Alright. I ride the bus because I can't afford a car, insurance, gas, etc. I'm Fair. a 19-year-old female, live in the U.S. for context. I get why you're uh, poor. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yep. Young, USA, it, it, it checks. It, it fits the bill. Um, a couple of days ago, I was on a bus that wasn't that busy. Not empty, but there were multiple unused seats and no one had to stand. I had just gone shopping and had heavy bags that were hard to carry and hardly fit in front of my legs. So I sat in one seat and placed my bags on the seat next to me, essentially taking up two seats on my own. Since it wasn't crowded when I got on the bus, I didn't see an issue and like I said, the bags were super heavy and hurt to carry so I wanted to set them down. The bus ride was kind of long, and as it went, more and more people got on the bus. On the bus, I eventually got it. Eventually, got pretty crowded to the point where some people Ads. had to stand up. What? Ads. Oh, are they already going? Yeah. All right. Looks like it. Well, that's okay because um, I think that was a part where I could stop. Stop, anyways. Yes, it was. I'm halfway through the story, so. Mm -hmm. I'll just go back to the beginning of that paragraph and we come back on. If we didn't have two more people to qualify, I'd, I'd switch over to the thing. I got first! Wow! I did it! They haven't come online yet. How strange. As gone. Oh. <laughs> I was like, uh... I don't know if mine's faster than yours, or... I'm not sure. I don't know. Anyways, we're back. Alright, so I'll go back for now. The bus ride was kind of long, and as it went, more and more people got on the bus. It eventually got pretty crowded, to the point where some people had to stand up. I didn't ever move my bag or offer the seat to someone. In my experience, most people don't want to sit next to strangers anyway. And a lot of the time, people end up standing instead of sitting in an empty seat next to someone they don't know. Also, no one said anything to me. At the last stop ended at the bus station where pretty much everyone was getting off, someone passive-aggressively told me, you could have moved your bag or not been inconsiderate and rude. Everyone wants to sit, not just you, or something along those lines. I didn't really respond because I didn't know what to say. The person who said that never asked me to move my stuff and if they did i probably would have so i don't understand how i was being rude they could have asked during the ride instead of insulting me after it was already done buses are also generally first come first serve so i think my behavior was normal all right um i don't necessarily think she's the asshole because yes it is first come first serve and, I mean, we've been on, in those situations where we get on a bus at, like, Disney, and we have a boatload of bags and junk, 
typically we are able to put them on our laps or in front of us and it's pretty much fine but was it a bit inconsiderate maybe but she's the asshole you think she's the asshole she wasn't the asshole when there was enough seats for everyone to sit Mm -hmm. Um, but once the bus got full, it's called take your fucking bag off the seat and put it in between your legs. Oh, I must have missed the part about it. Yeah, yeah why well, I, I, I said, like, the bus got full. Like, that's when you're the asshole. Yeah. Like, um. We found our very first certified asshole. Yeah, I think that's kind of, you know, um. If it's uncrowded, yeah, put your bag on the seat. Everybody has a place to sit. Cool beans. Um, I would have moved it for ev for somebody when it got full. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I agree. And that's pretty much the full consensus. You're the asshole. You saw the bus was full. Didn't move your bags. Yeah. Once it got crowded, you moved the bags. It's a courtesy. And it doesn't matter, like, if she thinks... No one's gonna sit, like, um, you know. Um, she did not say other than... Oh, I definitely lost this one. Yep. Um, I think she said it was a pretty long bus ride. Oh, yeah. Anything, like, longer than ten minutes, if you're making people stand because of your stuff, I, I would say, yeah. And she got off at the last... Stop. Oh, you are a certified asshole. So she was on there longer than, mm, <laughs> longer than everyone. So, mm -hmm. yep, I agree. Move your shit. Um, get your shit and get out. Yeah, like you should just move the bag. Like it's not that big of a deal. Like, especially once it got crowded, then like do it. Oh yeah, move your crap. Oh, agreed. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that was, um, yeah, so I went back, like, I researched the same oh, thing, right. and, um, it gave me, a one immediately, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna look at that one. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for another one that, like... These are fun. Well, thanks! I, I'm glad that you are <laughs> enjoying yourself. We'll have to start doing these more often. This is only the second time we've done this. And she's excited about something. <laughs> My face just lit up. Yeah. Yeah. What do you got? I just want, I just read, like, there's a couple, like, ones that I, like, you can tell sometimes, like, if people are, um, if it says, like, you know, they're definitely the asshole, um, or not, mm -hmm. um, but I just read this one and it was like, Am I, not, am I the asshole for not getting my wife anything on Mother's Day? And I was just like, oh my god. First of all, is she a mother? You just said wife. Yeah, so that's, um, yeah, so like... It's fair to assume that she is a mother. Yes. So this one is gonna be... So I, want, I definitely want to hear. Yeah, I want to, like, because... It, usually, like, the titles are kind of misleading, and then you read into it, and you're like, oh. Yeah. That is not what I thought you were going to say. Because that's definitely happened to us on a few occasions. Yeah. Yeah, but I get where you're going, like. Yeah. Alright, so. He is a 34-year-old male, and he did not buy or get anything for his wife on Mother's Day. And mm -hmm. let me explain why. My wife and her friend planned a trip to the beach for four days, which fell on Mother's Day. So I thought to myself that since I'm watching the kids, she is a mother. She is a mother. We have determined. Uh, she is a certified mother. So I thought to myself that since I'm watching the kids while she's gone, that would count as a gift. <laughs> since she wouldn't be here to celebrate that day and would get home that night on Mother's Day. Did he... I, here's on one thing that I would like to know. Did he give her money or help pay for her little excursion? It does not say okay. yet, question mark. Okay, there's more. Um, all right, let me. Um, um, 
She gets home and realizes that I didn't do anything for her and later tells me that she is upset and message was received loud and clear. I tried explaining my reasoning and thought process, but she didn't agree. There is an update. Okay. So, he says, I worded this badly and not enough background. Instead of watching, I should have said taking care of the house and the kids. Okay, so I have a big problem with this already. already because, like, I'm sorry. I, I get it. Like, you're the man of the house. But, like, they're still your kids. Like, you, you, it takes two to tango. You did not mother the children. You did not bring them to birth. It, and this is coming from a couple that does well, not have kids. No, no, hold on. Hold on. Like, it takes two to tango. It takes mm-hmm. two to raise the kids. Right. So, like, yeah, she went away for a couple of days. But that doesn't mean that, like... Oh. Like, it's 50-50. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know, like, if I was going away, yeah, I would expect you to watch the kids. Right, right. Like she said, you're not babysitting them. They're your kids. Yes. Like, you Absolutely. chose to have them. So now you need to take the responsibility. And I think that's hard for some guys. Mm -hmm. Because they're like, oh, well, the mother takes care of them. Yada, yada, whatever. And it's called, you birth. well, you didn't birth them. But um, you participated in making them, having them. They're your kids. You're not just babysitting them. So so anyways, going on. Mm -hmm. Her going to the beach is what I thought she wanted to do for Mother's Day. And me taking care of everything was enough because we pretty much split everything 50-50. She cooks more and I clean more, which is kind of like our relationship, Mm -hmm. Um, which is fine. But, you know, if I'm a mom, I'm I'm still going to be like, could you at least get me like a card? Right. Like uh, some flowers, some just something little. I think she would have been fine with like the beach thing like but like you said we don't know if he gave her anything like to go on the beach trip or whatever um (laughs) she wasn't expecting gifts but acknowledgement of her is what she was looking for Mm. but again her being gone that day i thought it didn't mean that much and wasn't expecting anything but the acknowledgement, like you just, you just said it. She didn't mm-hmm. speak to me for four days after oh. I apologized. Oh no! Eventually, we talked it out and admitted my mistake for not communicating with her. Wow! You think? <laughs> I want to thank the people that gave advice and actual conversations and didn't take personal shots. And for the ones that did, I was being sarcastic in my response. Um, He's being sarcastic. Yeah. Yeah, I I mean I think yeah. I think we both can agree on, yeah. well, on I everything. Think, yeah. She's over the top. Uh, I think the four days of not speaking, I mean That's a that much. probably was a little bit much. I mean, I can yeah. barely go like two hours whenever we're at home together without talking to you. I have, like, a five-minute span, and then I bounce back like mm-hmm. a Super Bowl. Like, I will... I have gotten angry at you for a multiple... A multitude of reasons, because we've been together six years, and... Oh, nice. <laughs> you <laughs> face-planted into that, and it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Um, you know... <laughs> um... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what? She's a mother of two and married for 17 years. I think she knows a thing or two. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we've been um, we've been together for six years, married for two. We don't have kids um, yet. But yet. We're, we're getting there. <laughs> we're working on it. Um, slowly. Slowly, but we're, we're getting there. We're just trying to enjoy um, some of the time, like, you know, because... We're still young. Yeah. I guess. 
relatively, yeah. In comparison, yeah. I mean, because I could still have a baby when I'm 35, so. Mm -hmm. And that's like seven years away, so. Yeah. I think that he is the asshole because taking care of the kids should be part of your regular duties, not a present or gift. However. And clean, taking care of the house should just be, I mean, if, if you're doing this 50-50, then you have to acknowledge that cleaning the house when you mm -hmm. already clean the house isn't really. Caleb and I do things differently. We're not big on gifts. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's cool, too. I mean, like, we don't, we're not the best gift givers. I mean, you give me great gifts, but, like, you I are more you like. I got you a PlayStation 5. I you gave me a counts. PlayStation 5, yes. That, that, that counts as a great <laughs> gift. But, I mean, <laughs> you love going to the drive-in. Yes. I would rather do things, um, experiences-wise, or, like, do something with you. But I think it goes back to, like, the communication of, like, if he would have said something to her. Like, hey, I was thinking this. Because that's what you kind of did for our anniversary this year. Yeah. You were like, hey, so, like, I know we don't really have any gifts this year. Um, which we're kind, we've kind of actually kind of leaned more towards, like, not Ow. giving gifts at Ow. this point. Um, but we really like doing things together and, like, doing little experiences. I think it was coming in hot. Yeah. Yeah. We do the same thing. Um, and I'm also very not, like, not very good at <laughs> waiting. Um, so, like, I'll get Christmas presents, um, nice. First Good victory, job. my husband got me a PS5, counts for B-Day, anniversary, Mother's Day, many Christmases. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I, I did. Can I cash that in? <laughs> um, well, I got you that, but, yeah. That's fine, I, I, I don't really ask for a lot. <laughs> no. I mean, I'm... No. I've, I'm really... I mean, I know the typical thing about well, only children is, like, they're always, like, spoiled brats. And they always <laughs> ask for everything. But I really never ask for anything, I don't think. Mm, no, not really. At least nothing large. No. <gasps> I like that color. No, I, I generally try to, like, with you, because mm -hmm. you don't ask for stuff, I try and kind of, like, keep a tab or, like, recognize things that you might need and like i usually get them throughout the year yeah but i'm also not very good at like keeping things so like if i get you something and i'm like oh it's like you know three months to your birthday and i'm like oh god i got you an early birthday present here yeah pretty much and i'm like yeah. here you go because i can't i can't keep things mm -hmm. yeah i think people say it correctly when it, they say like it's the little things that count because usually, like, it's those little things that you kind of do daily or, like, weekly that kind of... I think you remember more, too. Ah, I need some. Oh, just barely. That was an interesting one. That was... Yeah. That was... That was... That was... A little bit Cash-22. That I could have gone either way. I liked it. Difficile. Yeah. Ah. Let go of me. Oof. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Yeah. She is lucky. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. I think yeah, I gotta one. do this one. All right, give it to us. Only because, like, I've been so excited to cosplay. Um, so... Are you gonna tell the viewers oh. about... Oh, I know? just read a word and I didn't like it. Okay. Yeah. Am I the asshole for being embarrassed of my girlfriend's cosplay? <laughs> yeah. This has nothing to do with her costume, by the way. I don't think it is. Oh. Well, that's just strange. Hold on to your hat. Alright. Oh, this is a new one. Yeah. New map. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think so. I can't tell. 
Hello. So. Anywho. Uh, my, he is a 25 year old male, and his girlfriend is 24, female. Um, had a double mastectomy five years ago. Oh. She had breast cancer and thankfully made a full recovery. A recovery, my goodness. Unlike a lot of women, she didn't have any reconstructive surgery. She doesn't want to. She doesn't need to. No. This was before I met her. Oh, 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 I can already see where this is going. And I don't like it. Um, I'm a big anime nerd. And last weekend, I invited her to a small anime con with me. She's seen a few episodes of my favorite shows. But she's not into anime. She does like cosplay, though. And she works seasonally as an um, SFX artist at a haunted house near us. So that's really cool, actually. So when I asked her to go to the con with me, she asked if she could do cosplay. And I said, sure. She got very excited and said I was going to love her costume. So I'll admit, I thought she was going to do something sexy for me. Do you see where we're going here? I feel like I feel like I know where we're going and I don't like it. Ugh. Well, not exactly. The day of the convention comes and she showed up at my house cosplaying Dabby? It's definitely not Dobby. I think it's Dabby from MHA. MHA. I'm not sure if uh, Monster Hunter. My is Hero Academia. Academia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's yeah. an anime. Yeah, it's yeah. That's what we're talking about. Oh, I thought she said. I thought he said that she wasn't going to do it. No. She, oh yeah. She yeah. doesn't like anime, but she loves cosplay. Um, so she wanted to dress up as, I guess, one of his, the one of the animes that he likes. Specifically, a look he has later in. The manga. Oh, it's a he. Okay. It's a he said, she said situation. What? <laughs> oh my. Okay. Whatever. It's a long white coat over white pants. No shirt. Okay, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Her entire chest was exposed, and she'd obviously spent hours applying burn makeup. She has short hair, and she dot which she dyes car constantly. This time, she bleached it white and dyed a few red streaks. I wasn't expecting her to show up without a shirt. Her burn scar makeup only covered half her chest. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. So you could s clearly see her mastectomy scar. It wasn't a very attractive costume. Oh, who freaking cares? Especially since she'd gone all out with the scars and made them look raised and kind of realistic. We went to the con, and while a lot of people came up to take photos with her, I noticed several others looking at her chest. That evening, she said I'd been quiet all day and honestly told her I was a little embarrassed that she was flaunting her mastectomy scar like that. She got mad, and she that and said she was making the best of her situation and said I was being insensitive and she's been distance, di distant my lord ever since I'm starting to feel guilty D you're starting to I shouldn't I shouldn't jump to conclusions that's it that's it that that's it that's all you care to Nope. Or that—that that was that's it. The entire post. That is. Yikes. That, 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 that's it. What am I doing? Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. She doesn't owe you anything, sexy. Um, I would have been like, like if she would have like, like if she would have been my friend. Uh -oh. I. Oh, you are. Oh, you are. You, yep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh. I screwed it up. Um, if she would have been my friend with me there, I would have been like, you go, girl. I mean, like, yeah, I agree. I agree 100%. It's called, she has autonomy of her own body. Um, and like she said, she was trying to make the best of 
an awful consequence, an awful, like, thing, like, you know, I'm, that can't be, that, that's so hard. You are just really going for it. Ah! Uh. So as I'm doing <laughs> this, I'm trying too hard for some stupid reason. I know, you're like trying not to think, because like... Ah. So... Oh, yep, yeah, you asshole. Oh, you can run across them. Yep. Oh, no, buddy. Oh, I see the strap. Mm -hmm. Block people out. Yep. Run! Run. Yep, that's it. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. She had confidence in herself, and she, you know, it kind of it, that. Yeah, she needs a break. Oh yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. That's awful. And like, ooh, ooh. If, if that is your girlfriend, your woman, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. she doesn't have too many. Places, we, since we started environments. Late, we can go till ten, by the way. Right. Um, she doesn't really have that many situations, environments where she can feel confident and safe. Yeah. With that kind of experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cosplaying, take it from somebody who was forced into cosplaying. Um, <laughs> did cosplay recently. <laughs> a convention where there's lots of cosplaying, a lot of people that are into that kind of stuff. Like that is. Like, the one place where you should feel safe. Accepted. Accepted. Mm -hmm. Because that's so difficult to do. And like she just said, mm -hmm. like, she was trying to support him. And, like, you know. Yeah. Like, that's just being a that's a supportive and decent, like, <laughs> partner. Yeah. So, I think we can confidently say that he is the certified asshole. Be yourself. Be yourself. Yeah. I think she needs to be herself with a new man. Yeah. <laughs> or be by herself and, you know, kind of really take a look at things. And, exactly. And, you know, because she, does, she doesn't need that type of bullshit, um, in my opinion. No. She deserves to be happy and... Um, and go through life not really well, just not dealing with it because that's just not not necessary nope yes he was 100 percent um i do feel really bad for her because i'm sure she was like so, i'm sure she was so feeling herself like she was so like you know i'm doing something i'm supporting him he's gonna love this this is gonna be fantastic and he just like Spit it back in her face, and then use her her um, you know, made her feel bad about not like yeah, not having something because oh well she's gonna do something like no she's gonna do something sexy no just because she's doing this with you does not mean she's doing it to please your every need mm -hmm. like just be happy for what she's doing for you. 